Hello YouTube! Today I will be taking a look at some of the obscure arcade games that were released for Atomist Wave. After the famous company SNK retired the Neo Geo MVS system, they chose Atomist Wave as their next arcade system board that was made by Sammy Corporation. Sadly, while this system had popular games like King of Fighters, Neo Wave, Guilty Gear X 1.5, XX Accent Core, the system did not do very well compared to others, also due to the decline in popularity of the fighting games at that time. And many games are still obscure today. The first game I will be talking about is a Sammy's and Dimp's beat em up game from 2003 named Demolish Fist. I thought that with a name like that, it had to be really hardcore. What makes this game a little bit different from others to start with is that it's in 3D while most beat-em-ups tend to be in 2D. You can move freely on the stage and, you know, regular beat-em-up gameplay as expected. You have several characters with different moves and you have a mechanic called Vertigo where you can activate a series of attacks by repeatedly smashing the attack button. You have the guard, jump, and attack button and honestly, I have not much to say about this game. I've read other players' reviews and most seem to consider this game as a great beat em up but I didn't enjoy it too much myself. Maybe if you're a fan, you will enjoy it, so I suggest you giving it a try too. Dolphin Blue is a run and gun game from Sammy that reminds me a lot of Metal Slug with a bit of shmup mixed in. The player gets a different set of weapons as items in the game like different types of guns and launchers and also a knife that you can use in close combat. You also have a dolphin companion who will follow you or you can even ride him in some parts of the stages. With the C button, you can activate an attack that you can charge up to 3 levels with the dolphin and this is pretty powerful and useful since you can do big damage and even use it to evade enemy attacks. The gameplay like I've mentioned is similar to Metal Slug but in some parts of the game where there are too many enemies on screen, it's hard to tell what's going on which makes it a little bit hard to evade their attacks. I really love how this game looks, it's very colorful and unique looking, and the dolphin is very cute too. I don't think it's too unique in the gameplay though, but I do think this is worth checking out. game I'll be talking about today is a game called The Rumblefish and The Rumblefish 2. The game is developed by Dimps and released by Sammy. 
and it's a 2D fighting game that uses the SMA or smooth model animation that makes 2D sprites appear to move smoother and 3D like. This game, from what I've seen, is very technical and has many mechanics built into the system. But the biggest difference from other fighting games is that when you keep receiving damage on one part of your body, your character's clothes break, and while in most cases only the graphics of the character change, some characters can activate different moves depending on the parts that are broken or not. While there is the Rumblefish on arcades and PlayStation 2, the Rumblefish 2 was only released on arcades and this game made some balance improvements, added more characters and so on, so this is the better version. While all of this and the looks of the game is very interesting, sadly, this game was released in the mid 2000s when, like I mentioned, the fighting game popularity was already on a decline. The game still looks good, so I recommend you guys to check it out if you can, even if it's the PlayStation 2 version, which was only released in Japan. So that's it for today. I really enjoyed looking at different arcade games that was mostly released only in Japan, and especially fighting games because I really like fighting games, although I'm not good at them. But as you know, it's very hard to come by a good arcade center or game center where you can play all these games so I have to rely on emulation. And setting up emulation settings for these games is pretty complicated from what I've experienced so I wasn't able to run all the games that there are. Um, I'll still keep working on them and hopefully I'll talk about more of them in the near future. Thank you very much for watching, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye!